Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Happy Wednesday. I am about to go work at the salon today. Let me show you what I'm wearing. It is a super hot day out. So um, I went actually shopping yesterday. I went to Aerie because I had, oh, it was my birthday on Monday. And I had a coupon from Aerie and American Eagle. So I was like, let me go get some more things. I needed some more like comfy shorts and sports bras and stuff. So sports bra and shorts. Actually the sports bra is airy. Shorts are American Eagle. And then I just threw on this flannel that I think is from the men's section in Walmart. It's really old. These necklaces are both from Vibe Season. Earrings are from Ana Luisa. And then I just have these slides that are actually also American Eagle, but they're very old. Wednesdays are actually my shorter days at the salon. So I only have one client today. I haven't seen her in a really really long time like i want to say it's been a, almost a year yeah i think the last time i saw her was last summer she naturally is like a dirty blonde we had did a copper color on her last i saw her and now she wants to be blonde so it's gonna be a little bit of a color correction situation and then after i'm done with my clients i'm gonna actually do my own hair I don't know if you can tell if the camera's gonna pick it up, but at the new house where I moved into a few months ago, we have well water and it's hard water, mineralized water. So my hair has felt disgusting. <laughs> so if you live somewhere that's like a more rural area and you have well water, you might find that this happens with you too, where your hair ha can have a green tint to it it can have a weird smell like every time it gets wet it has just like a even when, even when it's dry honestly it like i don't know like whereas before my hair used to just smell like whatever shampoo i was using and it would smell good now it just always has this like mineral kind of smell to it it's gross it just feels dirty and it just feels heavy and just I don't know like even when it's freshly clean it still doesn't feel 100% clean it just feels like weighed down a little bit I feel like it doesn't style as well so I'm gonna do a clarifying treatment at the salon to remove all of this this is something that I do on clients all the time and it's so cool and so satisfying because you can literally see all the crap coming out of your hair it is amazing so I'm gonna share that with you I'm gonna just gather everything that I need to bring with me and then I'll see you at the salon. Just finished my client's hair. It came out beautiful. That copper color on her ends came out really easily. Luckily, we only had did that color one time because I'm pretty sure when I did that last summer, it was on her virgin hair and it was professional color. So I was able to come out very easily, but keep in mind, that's not always gonna be the case for everyone. Depends what you use, depends how long you've been doing it for, how many times you overlapped it, etc. Now it's time to do my hair. Okay, step one, put on tape. <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start off shampooing my hair with the Malibu Hard Water Wellness Shampoo to prep the hair. This is a nice clarifying shampoo, but it's not enough. I have so much buildup in my hair that I need more than just this. So this is just good to use like once a week or so in between treatments. And then the treatment I'm going to do is the Malibu Crystal Gel. Um, this just pulls out any oxidized minerals from the hair, whether it's minerals from hard water, chlorine, anything like that. It even helps if like, say you overtoned your hair and it came out a little bit too dark and you want to pull some of that out, it'll pull that out a little bit too without causing any kind of damage. The ingredients are mainly just vitamin C. So you have to mix this with, I believe three ounces, two ounces, two ounces of warm water. I'm gonna squeeze the bottle a little bit first then put my finger over the top and shake it up so that way it doesn't all explode and come out the top of the bottle it's 
happened to me so many times and then it has to sit for just like a minute or so to become like a nice thick gel consistency so in the meantime i'm gonna go wash my hair so let's go over to the sink this is gonna be interesting okay i'm just gonna put this on this chair next to me oh i need a processing cap too And I'm going to shampoo my hair two times. Now I'm going to take the treatment and I'm just going to apply it all over my hair. Try to saturate it as evenly as I can. Really work it in there. Make sure all the hair is saturated. <laughs> just going to put on a processing cap to contain everything. And you ideally want to let this process under heat so it can really get everything out of your hair. So I'm going to sit under this heat lamp. Yes. I'm going to take Bunny for a walk first. Then I'm going to sit under this heat lamp. It needs to process anywhere from 10 to 45 minutes. I'm going to leave it for the full amount of time. So I'll see you guys in 45 minutes. Okay, the timer just went off. I think it'll probably be easier to mix up my toner and just apply it when I'm at the sink after I rinse this out. So I'm gonna get that mixed up really quick. So I'm using Redken Shades EQ. I'm gonna do 6NA and 4M. Cause I just want something that's gonna be a little bit more ashy, but not like too, too dark because I actually, had my hair blonde last summer and then every few months I kind of gradually was going darker and darker I kept adding low lights to my hair and then I eventually just went dark all over but I still have some pieces throughout that were bleached underneath so it gives my hair a little bit of dimension which I really like so I want to still maintain that dimension I don't want it to just be all one super dark flat color but I want to definitely tone it down make it a little bit ashier my hair just naturally especially from being out in the sun and stuff it just gets like really red and warm and I don't love that I like it to be a little bit more like neutral I'm just gonna mix that up with equal parts processing solution I'm surprised I thought that it would definitely be more colorful than this there's been clients that I've done this treatment on and I swear when I pull everything out it's like a teal color but this actually isn't too bad Ugh, it smells so gross though like it smells like that mineral smell I was talking about 
like kind of like a sulfur smell. I don't know. So I'm going to shampoo this out. I'm going to shampoo two times again with that same Malibu shampoo. Make sure I'm getting all of this stuff out of my hair. Then I'm going to towel dry it and then apply the toner and leave that on for about 15 minutes. So that's gonna sit for 15 minutes and then I'm just gonna rinse it out, condition my hair, and then I'll be done. I don't think I'm gonna bother styling and all that because um, I'm just gonna go straight home anyway. So I'll do that when I get home and I might blow it out straight. I might leave it curly. I'm not sure. We'll see, but I'll show you what it looks like when I get home. All right, I'm home now. I know you can't really like necessarily tell a visible difference, but trust me when I say my hair feels amazing. It feels so clean and it actually smells clean. Finally, it just feels so good. It feels like so much lighter and like less weighed down. And I kind of was thinking that maybe I should blow it out straight because Believe it or not, I have not done a blowout on my hair in three weeks, three or four weeks. I've just been embracing my natural curls. I know you guys have been saying that you love it and you've been wanting me actually to talk about how I've been doing my natural hair and what I've been using and all of that. All I've been doing is I've been using a little bit of the Palmetto Invisible Wear Velvet Cream and I just put it on my hair damp like maybe about that much and just kind of apply it all over because this is supposed to give like a little bit of lightweight definition which is what I like I don't want my hair to feel crunchy or stiff and I don't you know I don't necessarily want it to feel like there's product in it and then these front pieces tend to get a little bit straighter and a little frizzy. So I just twist them away from my face. So just scrunch that up in there. And then depending on the day, like what I'm doing, if I have time, I will usually just leave it and let it completely air dry by itself. But if I am in a rush and I need it to dry quicker, then I will diffuse it with my Dyson. So I'll show you guys just for the sake of the vlog, because I'm not going anywhere the rest of the day, but I figure I may as well show you how I do that. If I'm blowing my hair out straight, then I'll do it on the highest speed and the highest heat. But when I'm diffusing my hair, I do it on hottest heat, but lowest speed. Because I don't want a whole bunch of air blowing super fast into my hair and blowing it all over the place and making it frizzy. I just want to dry it and like define the curls, so. See? Hottest temperature, lowest speed, and I literally just grab pieces and I just place it in the diffuser. And just lift up and I just hold it there for a few seconds. And because you're lifting the curls as you're drying them, this definitely gives them more body and bounce. I mean, look at this side already compared to this. If this were to just air dry, it's just like 
being weighed down a little bit more. So you can see the difference from this side compared to this side. And honestly, now that I did that clarifying treatment, <clears throat> I feel like my hair is bouncing up even more than it was because it's not weighed down by so much crap. As you saw, I'll like flip my head upside down and diffuse that way, and that way it gives me more volume too. Okay, I wanted to get near a window so I could show you in natural light. Look how freaking curly and defined. The front pieces though, I think just like, these front hairline pieces always get like the most damage just normally anyway. So I think that's why they're not as curly but wow it doesn't feel like there's anything in my hair so that velvet cream stuff is really nice for that um i nothing to me is more annoying than crunchy stiff hair and you can see the color there's still definition in there it's not just like all one flat color but no red tones if you have any recommendations for a um, like shower head filter a water filter that I can get because I know that they do make them but I just I don't know I'm open to recommendations I don't know which is like which ones actually work well because I don't mind having to do the treatment obviously every so often but it would be nice if you know you just don't have to deal with that in the first place hello it is many days later it's actually Sunday night right now I just washed my hair and gave myself a blowout. It's the first time I washed it since you saw me do it on Wednesday and I have this AirPod in because I was editing this vlog that you're watching. Um, but yeah, I decided let me blow it out straight for the first time. A, I wanted to see if it grew anymore because like I said, it's been like a month since I last um, wore it straight. It's growing, it's getting there. I was honestly on the fence, like <laughs> last month, I was really, really tempted to chop it really short again, like above my shoulders, but this is the longest that it's been in a while and also like the healthiest that it's been. So I'm just gonna leave it be. But I wanted to also blow it out so that I could see how the color came out because I feel like sometimes with the curls, um, it's a little bit harder to tell and of course the lighting in my bathroom right now is very warm so that's going to make my hair look warmer but you can see how it's still there's still some dimension in it i know every so often i get asked about my hair color and what i've been using to tone it with so now you guys saw what i did sorry i keep staring in the viewfinder because i haven't seen myself like this in a long time i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching i will put links to all the products everything i used and talked about in the description let me know what you want to see in the next vlog and i'll see you guys in my next video bye